Hello everyone, this is Douglas C. Welch with another episode of Container Garden Update. Uh, it has been so blasted hot out here in the garden, I haven't even wanted to step outside. But today it's cooled off a little bit, and so I wanted to give you a quick update. For more information on a gardener's notebook as well as everything else I do, you can visit the website douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to a gardener's notebook as well as everything else that I do. Uh, starting off today, uh, just taking a look at the pots kind of from one end to the other. Here's our strawberry pot. Now, I know I've been saying this a lot, but since we've got the automatic watering going, things have just exploded here. You can see how these two strawberries uh, have really started uh, to take off, including more so the one in the back than the one in the front. You're also seeing a runner reaching off here. I might actually go ahead and put him in a pot of soil and use him to create another plant, either in another container or perhaps elsewhere in the garden, actually in the ground. Uh, number pot number two here, again, an absolute explosion. On the right you have peppermint. On the back side here you have, uh, this is the lemon thyme, which has just exploded. It came from a little small pot, and now it's basically taking up nearly this entire side. There's actually even some basil popping up in the back there from one of our surviving plants uh, when it had a little trouble earlier in this pot. Uh, again, water and heat, boy, really turns things on. Now here in the radish pot, we got a little bit of success and a little bit of failure. Uh, success is they have grown crazily. Uh, failure and I haven't gotten out here. They're already started going to seed. I'm assuming that's partially due to the heat. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, these have been in here for over a month, so I'm sure they're ready to come out. So I'm just going to harvest these real quick. And you see, there's a really good radish here. A little small, maybe. I thought he'd be bigger after he'd gone to seed. Maybe that has stopped him from getting bigger because he did throw up the seed pod. So looking around here from some of the other ones. You know what, they're still looking a little bit small in here. So I'm gonna pull out the ones that have gone to seed and uh, just take those for right now. You see that one spent, it, it immediately bolted so there's no uh, radish on the bottom of that one at all. And that actually will free up some more space here and we'll give these guys a chance to grow a little bit more. They're not quite as big as I would like, but they are coming on. So we'll let those go. In the background here, you might be able to see, here's our carrots growing way back here. Uh, let's take a look at that radish right there. Yeah, it's a little bit small yet, but he's doing well back there. So these are our carrots, and we'll keep an eye on those and see how they do. Uh, I do see in here, even in your containers, you got to do a little weeding, a little spurge uh, growing in the pot right there. So we'll pull him out. We don't want him sapping any energy. Looks like a few more carrot seedlings on that side have popped up, just with the added water as well. Now I'm pretty happy here. It appears that our self-seeding <laughs> lettuce has actually worked. You can see back here, we've got a nice set of greens popping up in the back here. We've got a few more of the older lettuce uh, <laughs> lettuce uh, sprouts seedlings here coming up. We're just gonna knock those seeds back in the pot. And then when these die back, we'll pull them out like that one there. See, there's one that spent all of its seeds back into the pot. We'll pull them out. We'll let these do the same thing. And it seems to work. Just if your uh, lettuce bolts unexpectedly, if it gets too hot, well, let it go and it will definitely come back. We've actually got some greens in here we could harvest for a small salad tonight to uh, maybe beef up a, a salad with some um, uh, supermarket lettuce and use that as a kind of nice topping. Again, some spurge got in here, so we'll pull that out and looking for any other weeds, but uh, nothing much. But you can see there's a whole host of seedlings in there and we'll just keep letting the lettuce seed go back in there. It's getting cooler now, so um, we're definitely at a time, getting to be a time, where we can grow more of these cold weather crops. So this is a really great uh, success for me. I'm, I'm enjoying this quite a bit and happy to see that my experiment succeeded. And another bit of success here, we have the oregano, which has just exploded. This is actually ready to be harvested. I'm gonna come in here, take a nice big bunch of that, cut it off, hang that up in the garage where it's uh, hot, but out of the direct sunlight and very, very dry. And that should dry off very nicely. Uh, from my understanding, oregano tends to have more flavor when it's dried. So we'll definitely dry that up and then start using that in our own uh, in our own cooking here in the kitchen. Uh, a little bit of uh, oxalis guts in there. That's one of our typical weeds around here as this can take over quite dramatically. So we'll pull that out as well. Up here you see the chives are growing well. Uh, again, probably with these we need to come in here and uh, if we're gonna have some uh, baked potatoes, I think we'll take a little bit of those off and let them continue to grow. Uh, the parsley, uh, we've let reseed. You can see more flowers growing there. And 
I'm watching for some seedlings. Oh, you know, down at the base here, I do actually see some seedlings in there of the parsley that is coming back. And so that looks like that's going to be a success as well uh, of just letting the parsley go to seed and reseed right back into the container it's originally grown in. And even here in the far right, there's even a tiny piece of uh, lettuce coming up there, probably from some seeds we planted earlier or that drifted in from the pot next to it. And to finish up today, a quick uh, look at the potting bench here in our rather noisy backyard today. They're still doing construction at a large lot nearby. Um, as I said, it's been so hot that we really haven't done much out here yet. Things are kind of coasting along. We're keeping them watered. There you see on the right the jacaranda, the lantana cuttings here, which are doing very well. Some rosemary in the back. And this egg carton has been doing much better if I keep a little water in the bottom. It's definitely holding the moisture in the soil much better than trying to water it from the top. So that's uh, been working a lot better. We're not seeing any uh, seedlings yet, but I do remember the first time I tried the grasses in here, it did take a while for them to sprout. Uh, back here we have our asparagus fern seedling kind of popping up there. So uh, again, now that it's cooling off a little bit, hopefully we'll be able to get back out here. I have lots of plans for more cuttings and things. And it's really sort of counterproductive to try to do this stuff when it's so hot out because there's just no way you can keep it damp enough to let seedlings uh, sprout or cuttings take. So uh, I was kind of uh, fighting my way into the wind there, uh, trying to do this during the heat of the summer and hopefully as fall arrives, things will get a little bit easier. So that's it for this episode of Container Garden Update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're watching this on YouTube, please click that like button. It really helps out. It helps people discover these videos as well as everything else that I do. For more information, to leave your comments, visit us at douglaseewelch.com. There'll be links to our social media sites there as well. Thanks for joining us. Let me know what's going on in your garden. Please send comments, questions, brickbats uh, via Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and more. I'm available on all of those sites and would love to hear from you. Until next time, keep building up your containers, keep cool, hopefully it's going to stay that way here, and keep digging.